we're at the hotel gym. We're gonna film here. We don't even care. We're gonna get some weird looks, but we do it for y'all. Smash like if you like this content. So this is what we got in a hotel, basically. We're gonna make it work. We're gonna do an arm day. Uh, we're gonna start with Arnold's warm up here of 100 leg raises. So you do this in as many sets as it takes. Squeeze those abs. You're nasty, but it's arms and abs. It's a fun day. Let's get it. Bucket hat. I'm in Miami, man. Gotta live it up. The Hefe. <sighs> For Hefe, they call me Hefe here. I just learned that word yesterday. <sighs> Gotta have fun with it. Focus, man. Focus. Focus. <sighs> so, right now we're doing a countdown 20, 15, 12, I believe. Just doing countdown reps, getting a pump in. A lot of people message me, especially for personal training. I come to a lot of condos and say, hey, I only have a cable stack, or hey, I only have dumbbells up to 40, but I'm a big believer of whatever you have, you can make it work even if it's body weight. So here we are in a hotel that actually has a good amount of stuff, but we're gonna show you our full workout. Seven kilo. Jeez. Yeah, boy. Squeeze. <laughs> These are weird. They don't film very well, but they're super good. Triceps are gassed. We've just been following this 12, 15, 20, 15, 12, 8. Got to make do with what we can. Um, no excuses, you know. You got to get in here. Uh, arms and abs, something easy to get done. So we did all the hard workouts early in the week. That's what it's all about. Plan ahead. You'll be successful. Alrighty, so that's it. Just hit an early morning workout. 50 minutes done. Got a nice arm pump. Let's go get some breakfast. No big deal. I used to work at a smoothie bar, so I'm kind of a big deal. Called me Mr. Smoothie. Uh, Kyle used to come purchase smoothies for me, and I used to hustle him for change. Yeah. For tips. Give but, 10 uh, cents. I'm such a good smoothie maker that I did this the first run around, as you can see here. Smoothie uh, had died, so this is take number two. Um, we got all these ingredients. It's going to be cheap. It's high protein, fairly high carb. It's going to be some mint. Mint post workout. So we're just gonna start two cups of milk. This is to make two smoothies, obviously. Go three rough tablespoons of egg whites. I mean, obviously we don't have anything to measure or weigh here. It's just gonna be have to be as good as it can. Mm, banana or plantain, as uh, Kyle would call it. One banana. Now, this is rough. I don't know. I'm after all my years in the pronouns. I'm good at eyeing it. Next up, we got the lean peanut butter. So 109 calories for two tablespoons, 12 fat, seven protein. So it's an easy way to get some healthy fat, some healthy protein. Now this is big, so I'm gonna do three of these, these big boys. Jeez. Once again, don't have a 
a scale. I prefer to use a scale for peanut butter. It's a lot easier. If you don't know how to do that, you put the peanut butter on the scale, you take out your scoop, and it's just way easier than trying to know if you're leveling a tablespoon correctly. And so now, all we gotta add is two scoops of EHP protein. I'm gonna pull that out, slap that in. I'm gonna show you how this. Boom. Give me all the protein, bro. Boom. Boom. Under. Make sure the lid's on. This is for Kyle. Taste tester. Look at this. Oh, portion control, baby. See there, bro. I don't want to take too much of it. Give good. it the peanut butter, right? Oh man, that's good. Prince time. So basically, to start the day, Kyle made his first cup of coffee, and I'd say that's pretty pathetic. But I can't make coffee either, and as a longtime coffee drinker, that's super pathetic. Had a K um, pure eggs as like a gift, like way back, so we just make K-cups more than we should. We had a pot here, so that's a whole thing, I don't know. Comment below if you can make coffee. I feel like it's something we should be able to do, but basically, you know, we're out here, it's tough. We're gonna be going to a conference. We're going to the Grant Cardone 10X Growth Conference. Uh, we have some people from our social group going there. It'll be a great opportunity to foster entrepreneurship, creativity, get more energy in this channel, everything behind what we do. Uh, if you don't know what we've been up to, we've been doing a lot of online coaching, a lot of personal training, and recently we paired up to be the celebrity coaches for a TV show. So there's gonna be radical transformations on Amazon Prime, so that's a great opportunity we're really excited about. If you would wanna learn how to get involved about that, you can always email us and we'll get you directed to the right area because that's gonna be a huge opportunity. I think there's like almost $200,000 in prizes. It's absolutely insane. But before we get moving today, essentially we're like, okay, hey, we could pay Uber each way or we could man up and walk and we can see our target right there. Take a look, we're here. We're getting to Marlins Park all the way down there, that big dome. So it's gonna be about a nice solid hour walk. You know, we're not potentially gonna be able to make it to the gym. So we're gonna stay active, an hour, two hours of walking. It's beautiful. Back home, there's this crazy storm. It's like negative 30, this and that. So we're like, ah, let's take advantage. Let's get over there. That's funny. Okay, they wanna go down. Fonda La Chismosa, Miami. The best. Are you mate, Oscar? The best. Okay, so we're out here at the place you just said. I can't pronounce it. The guy's amazing. He's been way too nice. Bringing us little coffees, all this food. Um, we asked our Uber driver, like, oh, we're going to Moe's, but is there somewhere more authentic to go? And he kind of dropped us off here, and it's like, you can see, Kyle will show you, we'll do a little montage of everything. Super cool, and like, no one even speaks English or anything, like, it's so, it's so different, and so submersive, so it's cool to see, I believe it's Colombian food, which is beautiful, I've heard good things, we've got plantains, a ton of chicken, rice, we kind of guessed what we were ordering, but it worked out super, super good. Some delicious avocado, so this is amazing bang for the buck. I'm excited to try these plantains. Oh. Compliments. Mm. Compliments to the chef. Mm. <laughs> oh, she is. That was good. It? Super good. Mm. Crazy, I've never tried plantain. Either have I. Do you just like bite it off? Just use my hands? Pretty good. Pretty good, but what I'm most hyped about is the fact that we have literally two massive chicken breasts. <laughs> like, get the protein in here. Staying on track. It's delicious, my friends. Very good. Thank you, boss. Ah, uh, my man, thank you very much. Ah, there it is. Take care. Line up to go in. I am excited. Alrighty, so we got so many Instagram messages. Everyone who had been to Miami said we need to go to the salty donut, so here we are. I got, this is like a nice hazelnut flavor. Oh my God. 
because we had these nice healthy uh, groceries. You can enjoy these things. I got me some pomegranate and traditional. These are just so good. Mm. So I don't know how good a pomegranate donut should be, but let's see. Mmm. It's really like bittersweet, like pomegranate. And then it's like a thicker kind of donut. Oh, that's super good. 